Manic Mechanic is back in action. What's going on, Jeff? <laughs> Listen to this thing. This ain't something you're gonna see every day, folks. 1966 Cushman, AKA Shriner's bike. We got Jimmy putting the final touches on the nicest panhead we've ever had at the museum. I don't even wanna really sell it. Junior's got a, a buyer for it, but it's, it's the nicest one I've ever seen. 59 pan. It's the nicest bike that came from the Bakersfield collection. We got electric bikes out the wazoo. Brand new Wizards putting the Wizard tune on a brand new. Is that a 125? Brand new MC125. MC125. 24. Got some killer, killer bikes coming down the pike. This is a brand new Buell 2024. All car this is all carbon fiber, 185 horsepower with a custom seat, the off-road kit. A friend of mine who bought the Harley Davidson trailer from us, he just bought that. Here's a rare Ninja ZX7, the Easy Rider Chopper. Got the Frog Bike and a brand new CVO Harley Davidson right here, Road Glide. Just gonna do a quick tour of the museum. Got uh, this. This is a, my, my friend who owns the 1-800 Lemon Law attorney firm. He donated this bike to us, and that's his hot wife on there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he gave this to us, and he just bought a brand new Buell from us too. So. This is John from Morton. John, how you doing? How you doing? If you want to buy a building, call John at Morton Buildings. We just bought a, a barn. We just went to the town hall and got the approval last night. So stay tuned. We're building a big barn up at the compound. Exciting. John's going to make it happen. That's the Punisher bike. This was donated by the New Britain Police Department in under the condition that we restore it and leave it here forever, and they get to come every year and ride it. That's a friend of mine's son who passed away of a heroin overdose, mm -hmm. sadly. Mi Michi Mu. Sadly, that's, I hate drugs. That's a 73 Z1 with nine miles on it. Got a nice lineup of Cowies. Super nice line of, lineup of British bikes over here. We got Triumphs and uh, Nimbus and BSA and some really, this is one of five floors. This is the second floor. And um, this building was built in 1814. Every square inch of it has been completely restored the way we do the bikes from the foundation to the roof. All new electrical, it's all new really plumbing. Cool. If you look at even, even the, uh, even the uh, sprinkler system mm -hmm. has been highly detailed and painted in every square inch of the building. These wood, these, there's 287 of these wood windows. They cost $1,284 each on average. And the reason they were so expensive is they're wood on the inside and wood on the outside. And there's only three companies in the country that still make them like that. There's our lineup of big bore two strokes over here. Got some Primo ones here. This one's never had gas in it. It's a brand new IT490. Just like just came out of the wrapper, brand new. And those are all our 500 CRs on, on the back row there. These, this is a, another service car from the Bakersfield, California pick. Um, we only have two of the 24 Buells left. We sold out. Junior sold them all the first week they were here. Um, that's a really, really clean soft tail. This is, we call this one the titty bike, pardon the expression, but. <laughs> It's a, it's a hot rod shovel. This is the world's finest 73 shovel head. There's none finer. It's got 3,000 miles on it. And this is probably the nicest knuckle I've ever seen. Wow. It's a 1946 knuckle. This has an appraised value of $140,000, this one bike right Gorgeous. here. And this, is, this one is one of our favorites. It's a 28 but it, it, it's not restored, it's just the old patina. A lot of yeah. people really like yeah. this old stuff, you know, and it, has, it hasn't been um, piled up, but it runs. I rode it last week. There's a video of me zooming up the road on this. It's just a cool piece. Then we got the brand new 185 horsepower Buells over here, rocket ships, and a whole lineup of classics. Come down and check it. We're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you want to come down to the museum and check it out. On the second, excuse me, third floor, this is um, this whole back row here. Every one of these bikes is either listed for sale on eBay or will be listed in the next week or so. The middle row of the ones in that row are the ones that we still have to restore. And then the floor above here is full of motorcycle parts and memorabilia and motorcycles. So if you get a chance- How are they getting up here? What's that? Oh yeah, we have an elevator. The elevator, that's a whole conversation piece in itself. <laughs> I have no idea what it costs to restore the elevator, but I had a team of people in there for an entire winter all the masonry work was repoint. We had, isn't that cool? Yeah. Yep, that, that, we did the video on this on, uh, I think it was Monday, Tuesday morning by 9.30, Junior had sold it. It wasn't even listed. Someone called up and said, can I have it? He gave him a price and he sold it. 
the, the real the real super clean nice bikes like that that are super rare they pretty much sell instantly because there's there's no there's no competition there's no, yeah i gotta show you the elevator now that you asked the elevator shaft here was the first water operated elevator in the water. state of connecticut wow. Yep, it was water powered, it's now electric powered. What was this building? This was a textile factory. Yep. The elevator serves actually four floors of this building and four floors of the other building. What's up with this, these tires? These are What's actually, this is a dune machine. Oh, for sand. It's called a Yamaha Banshee, and um, it has paddle tires for sand. So that just, Junior just sold that and this, and pretty much every bike on this row is 